the last surviving fighter of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, passed away at the age of 94. Simcha Rotem was born in 1924 in Warsaw, at a time when its Jewish community made up a third of the city's population. After World War II broke out, German bombs destroyed his family home, killing his brother, his grandparents, and several other relatives. He and his mother were wounded in the raid. Shortly after, the city's Jews were forced into the ghetto. Rotem, who went by the underground nickname Kazik, took part in one of the greatest acts of Jewish resistance during the Holocaust. He served as a liaison between the ghetto bunkers and the Aryan side of the city. The Warsaw Ghetto Uprising became a symbol of a refusal to give in to Nazi atrocities and inspired others to resist. We had no weaponry to compare with the German military might. Because what is a pistol or a rifle or a grenade when faced with the German army that conquered all of Europe? Of course, it was worth nothing. Rotem helped save the last survivors of the uprising by smuggling them out of the burning ghetto through sewage tunnels. The Jewish fighters held for nearly a month, succeeding to kill 16 Nazis and wound nearly 100 before they were crushed. We know that we are all going to have the same ending. Our determination drove us to uprise. We wanted to choose the way to die, that's all. After the war, Rotem immigrated to pre-state Israel, helping others do the same, and fought in its war of independence. He was later an active speaker and member of the Yad Vashem committee responsible for selecting righteous among the nations. In 2013, on the revolt's 70th anniversary, he was honored by Poland for his role in the war. However, when Polish parliament sought to pass a Holocaust law, Rotem wrote a letter to the Polish president stating, I became very frustrated, disappointed, and even amazed by your systematic disregard of the fundamental difference between the suffering of the Polish nation after Poland was seized by Nazi Germany, which I do not disparage, and the methodical genocide of my brothers and sisters, Poland's Jewish citizens, by the Nazi German extermination machine, ignoring the fact this extermination machine had many Polish accomplices. Rotem is survived by his two children and five grandchildren.